Night one, I get him to pull and close. Night two, I get him to pull and close. So now he's raised his leg count 50%. Okay, he went from four girls to six girls. What's up guys, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. I want to tell a video about when I was assisting Jeffy in New York City in 2012, October 2012. I had been with about 130 girls at this time and there was two students, okay? One of them was the, the guy that ended up becoming the coach, Chris Parker, okay, who ripped off all my shit. Okay, I defriended him, made a blast video about him, about that, he was copying my product word for word. And he also just recently said that he hit 69 girls, okay, very recently, even though he's been claiming hundreds or whatever on YouTube. Uh, I have a screenshot of him saying somewhere that he had just hit girl number 69, okay, like at the end of 2020. Anyways, so Jeffy paired with Chris Parker. He just got out of a relationship, okay, and, and he was all distraught and all these things. I paired with this Australian guy who had been with four girls total, okay, he came on the program having been with about four girls. So Jeffy's teaching Chris Parker, I'm teaching the Australian guy. First of all, the Australian guy comes in late, okay, to the meeting location, like 20 minutes late. Jeffy berates him, all this stuff. The guy's all frazzled. Jeffy says like, oh, like, you motherfucker, like, showing up late, like, I should kick you off the program, all this stuff. And the guy's very, like, rattled and upset, and he goes, am I paying, am I paying him to act like this to me? I'm like, don't worry, man, it's, it's fine. I'll get you good, okay? Night one. I get him to pull and close. Night two, I get him to pull and close. So now he's raised his leg count 50%. Okay, he went from four girls to six girls. And then we're, we're sitting there, like in the hot seat or whatever, um, before the third night out. And Tyler's like, how's everyone doing? How's the students doing on the programs? And this guy's like, um, he's like, I got laid nights one and night two. And the whole room like gasps and all this stuff. And they're, they're all like looking back. And Tyler literally says, he's like, that doesn't usually happen, okay, because their, their programs fucking blow and guys don't get results. And he goes, you must have been really good before you came on, right? He goes, no, I, I just came, I've only been with four girls. He's like, I actually just in, increased my uh, lifetime count by 50%. And he says, oh, well, who's your instructor? And he says, well, I'm, I'm with Jeffy, but, but I've been with uh, this guy here, uh, j Malt, the whole weekend or whatever, and I like raised my hand or whatever. And... That's, you know, the whole point of it, I want to show you guys, like, I've been coaching this stuff since basically like 2010, 2011, um, informally, and then a little bit with RSD in 2012, assisting, mostly Todd, okay, and then a little bit with Jeffy, and then um, I went and opened my own company in 2013, okay, and this is the difference between my stuff and theirs, okay, as you saw in the, in the video I put out, Last week, the, the ex-cameraman, the ex-video editor from RSD, he says like he pulled multiple times on my program. He'd only been with one girl prior to the program, and I was pulling also like even apart from the program, from brunch and stuff. He said I was the best puller he's ever seen to date, even though he worked with, with all the RSD instructors. And he said he's never seen anyone move things forward that fast or be like living the life, you know. So you know basically walking the walk, not just talking the talk. My name is Mark and I just want to make this video talking about my experience working with John Anthony Lifestyle and uh, I just didn't know what to expect. So I went to go to uh, the boot camp with John. He took me out and it was mind blowing because within the first hour of us going out, we actually ended up pulling and John helped me through that whole process. I was totally new to it. And uh, we did that a few times throughout the weekend. And he was even pulling in addition to what we were doing within the training. So it was like, you know, this guy is living it. He's doing it every single day. One of the most efficient, effective pullers that I've seen, that I've ever worked with or I've ever seen because I actually, after doing that boot camp. Um, I ended up working with RSD for a couple of years. I just, I didn't think I had any shot at um, hooking up with girls. Like that was just not in my reality. But John made that a reality for me. And that was the first instance that I really saw of someone who's actually going out there and doing it every single day. And it was literally like even, I remember, remember during a debrief at breakfast and 
it's like, you know, he sees a girl, he sees an opportunity and just moves it forward so quickly. I haven't, I just never seen anything like that. So we get to the third night and I ended up being this really hot girl. And since I was an assistant and my student had been doing pretty well already, he was in a set and I ended up pulling and just leaving the program. Okay, I went home with this hot girl. And he ended up sticking too long in that interaction and didn't screen for logistical points. Okay, and it turned out that he sunk his night into a girl who had a boyfriend the whole night. So he didn't get laid that third night. And that was partially my fault. But Jeffy was his actual instructor. I was just an assistant. Okay, usually their assistants were just chode guys that were never getting laid. So it was like an interesting thing. Like Todd said, like, you're the first assistant that I have that actually has game and, and whose game actually I think is better than mine. Okay. Todd saying that about my game. So <clears throat> it, and it was just, it's just sad. Like the instructions I give these guys before the program that, you know, all this the stupid shit with be clear in your intent, be free from outcome, um, you know, trust the process, all this stuff. And it's, it's just sad because it doesn't, it's not any actual strategy or methodology or, or practical advice and the guys don't have a fucking clue, okay? And they just get slaughtered. That Chris Parker dude didn't get laid even once, okay? But when you actually have the guy doing the correct moves, he can go forth and actually get results. So I just wanted to tell that story. Um, not to mention Jeffy fucking drinks heavily and uses drugs on his programs. I ran into him in different programs in Vegas where he was on mushrooms and, and other drugs, which is totally out of control. Um, well, that's a topic for another day. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found value, please subscribe for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Like, comment, and share with your friends. And lots more good stuff coming. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.